Hey, well, welcome back. Um, you've been pinning for a couple days. Um, you might be running out of ideas. And so I wanted to share a really cool resource that's free. Um, and it's called pinstomatic.com. So if you just Google pinstomatic, it's going to be the first thing that pops up. You're just going to click on that and we're going to open up the website. Now really what Pinstamatic is, it's a Pinterest tool and it has all different little fun things that you can do um, to be able to create uh, uh, really cool pins um, and do a lot of different things. So I want to take you through each of these different things. So the first one here, if you hover over it, it says website. So we're going to click on that. Now this is a website snapshot. So if you enter a URL excuse me, of a website in the box down here, it's actually going to produce a snapshot. So let's say I wanted to do uh, my blog. I'm just going to type in a website. I'm going to click preview and then it should preview over here on the right hand side. Someday at some time, it does say, please be patient. It can take a little while. Obviously it does take a little bit. There it is. Okay, so this is my website right here with my blog articles. So I could pin that if I wanted. Um, I've also done capture pages as well. So let's see if I can remember what the URL is. Um, I hope that's one of them. Okay, so also I've done capture pages to show products or to free training. Um, I also have a product that I've talked about which is fan based product uh, profits and what that does is it actually teaches people how do you use all these things with Pinterest and save time and you're able to market on Facebook as well. And so this is the URL, um, the website for some reason is not showing up and it's a capture page. So there's a lot of different things that you could do. Um, any website, it's going to be able to capture. So just get, um, think about what you have to offer and any website and that's one thing you can pin. The other thing, if you hover over this one, this is going to be a quote. So if you were to type in some type of quote, it's going to distribute different looks. Okay, so I just went and grabbed and copied this really quick. Um, I'm going to take the author and put it down here in the author. Oh, goodness. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. All right, so this one right here is just your plain white. Then what you can do is just click on these different ones and it does take a little bit of time but it's going to pull up a totally different look. And so there's all different looks in here. They've actually changed them um, recently and they've added actually a lot more. So you can just kind of go through and pick whichever one you want and any quote and then all you have to do is they all have this option which I didn't show you on the website. But you can obviously the preview but you can pin it directly from here into your Pinterest account. So that's what you can do with quotes. This one right here is a sticky note or a post-it. So again, if I wanted to post something in here, um, preview it, it's going to show whatever I have written on a sticky note. This one right here is Spotify, which is really cool. You can type in a favorite song or an album. And one of my favorite songs from the 80s is Word Up, um, which is by Cameo. <laughs> and so I actually did this. It's on my Pinterest account. And so if you click on that, it's going to preview the picture of the band and you can actually pin it. So I created a, a, a um, board sorry for 80s music and I think it was dancing it up in the 80s or something like that and so now I'm starting to pin uh, through Spotify my favorite 80s music. 
Um, one thing is Twitter. You can pull up any profile for Twitter and preview it here and then you can pin it. So maybe you have different profiles for yourself or your business. Uh, maybe you just want to promote your, your favorite tweeters um, that follow you and it will pull it up and you can actually pin that. A date. This is going to do a calendar date um, which is a really quick and simple way to be able to add a date to a Pinterest board. Um, maybe it's to show a date on the board that relates to um, let your, know, your followers know of an upcoming event um, or maybe your, when your website or your business started. Um, so this is what you would do is you just kind of click in the box. It's going to open up a calendar. Um, you click on that. You preview it. And obviously it's going to have a date and the year. Now, the only bad thing about this is if you're, you're going to be doing an event, you want to make sure that after the date is over, go ahead and go in and delete it. And the last thing you need to see is something that happened in 2012. So that's the only negative of what I don't like about this date if it's something that's going to expire. The other thing here is you can click on place and then you can enter an address um, of a, a business and uh, where it's located. Let's just, I'm just typing in any address to be honest. Um, and then what you can do is you can add a title. Come with the, is it the Huskers? I don't even know. I don't even live in Omaha. That just happened to pop up. I think it's Huskers. I hope I didn't offend anybody. I really don't know. Um, and so you can do like your specific business. You can do a city. You can do um, like your favorite, like if you had a New York board, you could type in New York, New York. And I believe it should go ahead and pull, pull it up. Um, New York, New York. Uh, you know, the Big Apple. But use something, you know, direction wise that actually applies. Um, to what you guys have and then or what you're working on where you live where your business is or where an event is going to be located or a conference that you might be um, hosting or actually speaking and you can pin it that way as well this other thing here are photos and basically what it is you can add captions to your favorite photos now you can only add a caption at the top and the bottom it allows you to pull pictures um, from all of these different locations and you'll just have to play around with them. Uh, to make it simple, I'm going to just choose a picture and this picture might not even be a good one to use but I'm just going to grab one. So here you have a top caption and a bottom caption. You can have it um, indented where you can actually do center to the far right or the far left for both. So join me in my Pinterest 30 day challenge. The only thing is you can't change the size of the text and you can't really move it. It's either at the top or it's the bottom. So you really have to be able to choose uh, the right photo to be able for this to work out for you because this is I think going to run it's going to run off the side nope there it goes so it's going to circle but I can't get it to go any further down I mean it's at the very top so it's going to place it wherever you want it so but this is something you can do if it's just a plain picture uh, landscaping pictures are great to use this for and then again you can pin it that way so Pinstamatic is a really great tool it's free to use um, can make your life a lot easier and um, you can it's faster especially if you're doing quotes and things to be able to get some new and fresh ideas that maybe no one else is doing on Pinterest so I hope this tool is going to be a value to you and I'll see you on the next video have a wonderful day